Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Zara haul. So, I know, I've done a Zara haul about two, three days ago. I went back onto the Zara website, I just couldn't help myself. After my previous haul, where absolutely everything was perfect, I thought, just go back on and see if you can find anything again. And I did. I found quite a lot of items, so I'm going to be splitting this haul into two separate parts. So if you would like to see the second part of today's haul, then do remember to subscribe and it will be out within the next couple of days. But with all that being said, let's get started. So I've just gone ahead and sorted out through the parcel. I'm now gonna show you what I've got. So the first item of clothing that I picked up were these pair of jeans. I only got my first pair of Zara jeans in my first haul that I did and I was really obsessed so I thought you know what let's go again let's see if I can get something else so these are the vintage slims and I got them in black they were 25 99 and I got them in a UK 8 and also with like black trousers I like them to be a bit bigger because I just feel like that's the look that I'm going for unless they're like you know that shiny material then I'll go for something tighter but yeah um let's try them on and see what we're working with because I'm not quite sure what to say about these so I just put these jeans on and they're ankle bashers. I really like how they fit. Like I didn't know that jeans could look this way when they're straight. They look so nice. I expected them to be longer. All right, so I've just fixed it. So you should be able to see a lot better. So I'm just adding some trainers with this. As you can see, it's like they're ankle bashers. <laughs> I really like the way that they fit around the waist. They're really nice. I think I'm gonna have to like reevaluate whether I keep these or not because the length is just something that I'm not sure I can work with. But then I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like, should I keep these? Should this be something that I just keep as like an easy piece to just throw on? Or should I just send it back? Let me know. <laughs> The next thing that I got was this skirt. Now, this skirt is part of a cohort. However, the actual top, I put it in my basket, but it said it wouldn't arrive till like 30 days later than this. And I preferred the skirt to the top anyway. And I figured that there'd be more. I I'm hoping that this will stop. Okay, there's been a. I prefer the skirt anyway. I'll get the skirt and then I compare. Um, it was like a white top or something like that rather than wait 30 days for the top It's a ribbed skirt. I got it in a small I would have preferred to have it in an extra small if they had it because the waist does look like it might be a bit big around mine Personally, and it was oh, it's in euros. I don't know how much it was. There's my phone. Hey Siri So the skirt was nine pound ninety nine. I think it all looked quite nice some more of those casual days with like a pair of chunky trainers I think that would look nice especially like a white pair and it's perfect for spring and especially for summer you know when it's like the colder summer days I think that this will look really nice so here's the next piece that I got it is the ribbed skirt now I actually love the way that this fits again like it's just so nice and flattering um I'm kind of tempted to actually get the matching top because I think the matching top will really set it off a different way it's at a nice length it's quite a classy length like just I don't know if it's flattering, but it's definitely like modest. So I like that. And the pattern as well, with it being quite a thick ribbed material, it makes it look quite more expensive than it actually was. And plus where the lines are, it makes your bum look bigger than it is. If you can kind of like see where I'm going with. I just paired it with like just the simple white top just so I could show you what it actually looks like. But I definitely think that I'm gonna be getting the top to go with it. The um, the cream top because I just think it's gonna look really pretty together and it's such an overcast day oh my god I bet you can barely like see properly I'm hoping that you can because I'd actually be devastated if you can't the next item that I got was a bodysuit I actually don't own any bodysuits this is a black v-neck one and I think because of the high collar I think it could look quite classy which is what I'm going for I'll probably end up cutting these off I don't know about anybody else but I find swimming costumes and things like that like so invasive don't know how to explain it but yeah um I'll try it on anyway without cutting it off just in case like you know it might be different it might just depend where you get them from um but yeah I don't own a bodysuit so I thought I'll try it out see what I think and yeah see if it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe so i got this bodysuit in a size small and it was 12 pounds 99. whoa now zara give everybody else a chance so this bodysuit i love like love love 
look at it it's so flattering i obviously i haven't got a bra on with it but it really holds your boobs like in place which is invaluable really when it comes to a bodysuit also it doesn't hurt like i expected it to like really give me a wedgie and it doesn't and it tucks in really nice at the back it's like a slinky material I didn't expect it to look like this because it has like these like flaps here I really expected it to be like just uncomfortable and like flimsy but honestly it fits so nice and I just can see myself with like my hair tied up so like let me show you my vision wait I've got my tag wrapped up in it but yeah it's such a nice top look at that it really holds your boobs as well like really nice as well this is such a key thing the pit goes so low as well i hate when you wear like vest tops and it's like here and then you get like your deodorant well done zara once again you have done great so the next thing that i got was this play suit and i felt like going out of my comfort zone so Quite a lot of the things that I've been buying recently are things that I don't actually own in my wardrobe. This play suit, it's lilac. Now I know it's coming up like quite a baby pink on camera, but it is lilac. It feels really expensive. Now I did actually get this in the sale and I believe I saved myself about 30 pounds. So I'm quite happy with that. It does have padding up here, which makes it feel even more so expensive and it's so heavy. The inside is lined with like a silky kind of material and there is a zip down the middle, like underneath here. I picked this up in a size extra small looking at it I'm not sure that was a good idea because it looks absolutely tiny but I'm gonna try it anyway I think that this could be a really lovely piece for like weddings and um, christenings and things like that for when we're out of lockdown so yeah let's try it on look at this Zara 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 so as I said before I don't have a play suit like not to this extent this is so perfect if you have like a wedding or something like that look at this it was so easy to put on you can have food baby you can have anything going on like no one would know this is stunning i can just see myself like even just like a boss moment like it's so flattering here like the way how it just like follows your curves as well effortlessly it looks way more expensive than it is i love the puffy shoulders let me go and show my mom because i need her to see this ah i love this i feel a million dollars oh i know this would be really nice with look at this oh my goodness this is so cute this is very like ascot vibes put a little thing on okay i'm really excited because i didn't expect it to be so nice but yeah let's get to the rest of the <laughs> I'm like out of breath. That play suit was £20. Sorry about that, guys. Now, the next few pieces that I got are from the Zara Basics range. I didn't even know Zara had a Basics range. Like, did anybody else? Or is it just me? I got two pieces. First one is this. Now, this is fuchsia. This is so pink. And I just thought, you know, for those casual days where you don't really want to be wearing much, like, you don't want to be wearing something like this, for example. I just thought that this would be really nice to throw on with a pair of shorts. But also, you could dress it up with a pair of, like, nice trousers, which I think I'm going to do. I can see myself wearing this with, like, the trousers I bought in my previous haul also guys if you would like to watch my previous haul i will link it in the description below this top was £3.99 and i did get it in a size small i don't know if they do an extra small in this i don't, I don't actually remember but i was drawn towards the color and the simplicity of the top so this is the next top i thought i'd pair it with the trousers from my previous zara haul now i feel like this gives off a whole different vibe to the trousers i feel like with a pair of nice like perspex heels this would look really nice if you're just going out for drinks with your friends like you know like when it's like a casual all of a sudden kind of drinks like hello um, the color is so beautiful like look at this and also what i've noticed with these tops are they're thick enough to support you without a bra so don't really feel like you need to wear a bra with them which will be really nice when it gets warmer and even like that nipple trend i don't know if it's still a thing but like they just kind of poke out but i love this with this like yeah i really like this top to finish off with i also picked up the black version of that top again it was three pounds 99 and i got it in a size small so with this top i had in mind more of like an all black outfit you know you have those black jeans that are coated i could see myself wearing them in a really simple outfit so those black coated jeans maybe a pair of doc martens um 
I say that all the time, but I just feel like they're so easy to throw on with an outfit. And then obviously a leather jacket um, with some silver bag, just a really simple outfit is what I could see this with. And I also think it's great just to put it underneath tops. I know tops can be quite low sometimes, like this one, I've had to like pin it. I just thought that this would be really good. It's really inexpensive as well. And even if you just wanted to wear it with a pair of blue jeans, that would also look really great. So yeah, I'm really happy with these pieces. So this is the next piece. This is the rib top. Oh no, I got my deodorant on it. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna have to ignore that. This is the ribbed black, like, I think it's like a racer top. I'm not sure. No, it's just a simple black top. So yeah, it's just this simple top. Now, I really like where it cuts off. I've just added it to this skirt for now, just so I can show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, I think it will look really nice. I think what I'm gonna do is put on the trousers that I just tried on previously and see why am I talking like that? And see what they look like together because then I think I could gauge it better because I wouldn't wear it with this skirt. So let me go and do that and I'll be back. Yeah, I really like these together. I think these look really nice. It makes me like the trousers more. I think the cut off point is still something that I'm gonna have to work with, but this top is really nice. It's really simple. It's really easy just to have on just like this. Like, yeah. I definitely recommend these they're really nice they do them in quite a few colors and i think i've got quite a few more so that is everything for today's haul i really hope you have enjoyed it if you would like to see the second part of this haul then do remember to subscribe it'll be out within the next couple of days as i will be filming the second part of this a bit later but yeah thank you for stopping by and hello to all my new subscribers thank you again your support means everything make sure you take care and make sure you keep well see you soon there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you, not doing well